Uh, hurry everyone and welcome aboard. That will be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Please a mightly and nearly blind Rakir welcomes you all. I butchered that a lot. Anyways, yeah, welcome back to Cleo A Pirate's Tale, our third stream of this game. And yeah, seems that there was, <laughs> with the roleplay group that I'm part of it, apparently this week was <laughs> specifically picked as a rest week or something, because the next event for that is next week instead. All right. Mm. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Last time, well, we got stuck on this stupid little island after a certain bird got us, well, trapped here. And hello there, Pizza. How are you doing today? Hello there, Pizza. And yeah, turns out that both our parody pal and uh, <laughs> Cleo's idol were both basically frauds, making up stories as they were going. And yeah, nah, <laughs> the first time that ended up with him getting abandoned here by Calica. And now, well, he's got himself stuck here again. And last time he didn't come out alive, so let's see if we can uh, find a way to get off alive anyways. Uh, let's see, pizza. Yeah. And myself and Goodish got my new glasses that are supposed to protect my uh, eyes from the blue rays from screens. Okay. Mr. Good, do I do recommend to get a monitor that reduces blue screen? Like, both my monitors does this. Yeah, it's typically an option. So if you uh, look around in the options of the screen itself, it might pop up somewhere. Darn. He's too quick. I can't get a hold of him. Okay. What? The oh, the worm. Yep. We are going to need to figure out some way to get off this hellhole. It's still clear rainwater. <laughs> okay, rainwater typically isn't that good. In front of your face in there. I can't go in there like that. And yeah, the entire reason he wanted to get back here was to get his logbooks to, well, have evidence that uh, his former employer is a fraud. Hmm. This guy went but the Okay, still nothing new on those. Hey, oh. <laughs> <Monty>. <laughs> uh, 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 uh may I hmm. I feel like yeah. in the we should uh, tell pizza about this one. <laughs> Let's see, pizza. And the other thing is that for some reason I have the words resistance is futile stuck in my head since morning and I can't tell where it's from and it's being constantly being repeated in mind even while I type this. Uh, resistance is futile is from the Borg from Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> Any idea on what we're gonna do now? I bumped my head quite a bit. I can't focus at all. But uh, you'll think of something, won't you? Yeah, I hope so. Unfortunately, I don't even know where to start. If I don't know what to do next, I usually mix myself a cocktail. There is no problem that a cocktail can't solve. Really? A cocktail? Think about it. Okay, I think that's actually <laughs> him telling, you know, the game telling us that we do need another cocktail. Uh, but yeah, for... <clears throat> For catching up a bit, uh, we are stuck on an island inside uh, of some <laughs> supernatural fog or something. Basically, we need a wisp, the uh, will of the wisp, to get out of here. But, uh, well, we lost ours. Uh, let's see, pizza. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Star Trek never watched it, but in my mind, it's being repeated in like a robotic voice. Yeah, the, it's from the Borg, which is basically a. A species of cyborgs that, well, they try to ca turn everyone else they meet into cyborgs forcibly. Can you navigate us out of this fog? Out? Out of the nautical fog? No chance. Without the Will of the Wisp, we already would have been completely lost on our way here. I guess if we don't have a Will of the Wisp or a proper replacement, we're stuck here. Really? No chance to get out of the fog? Without a will of the wisp for a proper replacement? No, not a chance. Hmm. See you later. Okay. okay, so we're going to need to make a wisp of our own. 
Uh, let's see, the yeah. truth about Avery. <clears throat> Avery told me the truth. He wasn't much of an adventurer, just Captain Quebec's uh, uh, book writer. He tried to steal from Quebec and was left on Pombo Island as punishment. He wanted to return to this island to save his made-up stories. I wonder if we'll ever get out of here. This is all his fault. And <laughs> he only took one damned coin. And he hadn't even been paid yet or anything, so... Yeah, it's understandable why he would want at least at the very least one coin. Hmm. The question is, will he even get paid to begin with? Good point there. Let's see. Risky on the docks. Coffee to no. I lost the key. Enjoy at high altitudes. Hmm. Actually, rainwater. We we can probably make this one. Uh, near death on the beach. Cold ashes is going to be something if we need that to make that one at one point or another. For now, yep. the coconut shell is now full to the brim with clear rainwater. That must mean that this place is pretty clean because. Typically, these days, rainwater is not really that clean, huh, anymore. Let's see, mead, yeah. coffee. Nice to see you. How about a drink? Rainwater and coffee. Okay. A coffee to know. Fantastic choice. Coming right away. <laughs> At least you can rely on the cocktail machine. Uh, afterwards, if Cleo doesn't become an adventurer, she could always become a, well, a cocktail artist. Let's see, this cocktail is supposed to really get the brain going. Hopefully it will help us uh, get out of this situation. There's a note in Malte's cocktail uh, bible, enjoy it how I, the high altitudes. Okay, so it's not for him. Can we give it to you? Hmm. Or do we or use do we, it ourselves or something? Need... Oh. Do they need... I was to say, do they need to drink it themselves up here? Is they alcohol free? All right, then. Oh, there's mead in it. Show me what you got, coffee to know. And she's conked out. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. What kind of place is this? Focused. Actually, let me skip through some bits. Uh, do we need to activate these in a certain order or something? Ah. Okay, so we're basically we're basically <laughs> tying some things together. get any further here feels like something is missing Ooh. okay so we need to know we need to know more about that coin maybe you well that's a wake-up oh, call man what a trip uh, did you see her eyes the lightning struck directly into this tree well that was really close did her eyes change a bit? Not sure. I didn't notice at least. It, it looked like when she woke up, she had a bit of baggy eyes. You know, like a, a bit of a woke up too early and such. Maybe. Let's see. Pizza. Oh, and by the way, I recently uh, watched both of Jim Carrey's Ace Ventura movies. They were amazing. Yep. 
<laughs> oh gods. You could say that uh, you have hammy actors and then you have Jim Carrey who's the whole fucking pig herd. Hammy? I, yeah. I haven't heard that phrase in decades. Just leave me alone, please. Hmm. Uh, it's also pizza. Okay, I watched it on YouTube and it's not similar in one bit. Hmm. Yeah. It, here's the thing. Many people have made that as a meme, so you may have heard that as a meme somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, what else is there to find around here? We still have the cocktail. We can't go in there without a light. Actually. Um, we still have these. We still have the stamp as well. We're, we might need to use that. Oh, hello. The branch here caught fire. There we go. That's what we need to get into the cave. Is there something about that coin or something? With the torch, it should work. Let's see. McAnally managed to get in and out of here, but. That was probably the, his wisp that we used to get in the first one. Strange. I can still hear those voices in my head. Must be those side effects mentioned in Multi's cocktail book. Hey, wait a minute. There's something under the shovel. A gold coin with a strange imprint. Must be left over from the treasure. Hmm. I'm sure I've seen this imprint on a coin somewhere before. Okay, that's two new things. Let's leave. Uh, <sighs> pizza, fair torch. enough response to being approached while being in the rain. <laughs> Just gonna look. Okay, thank you for being here all the same. Um, let's see. I thought so. Gotcha! Okay, not sure what we need the worm for. I'm sure there's still a whole earthworm family down there. As long as one isn't named Jim, I think we should be okay. Damn you! Now I have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> earthworm Jim. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, for love of. <laughs> Did we just. Let's see. Hey, wait a minute! The earthworm has nibbled on the glowing mushrooms in my inventory. Yep. <laughs> now it's a glowing earthworm. Now he's glowing himself. He seems to like it. <laughs> okay, we can't show the coin to you. I don't think Malty is going to be of much use other than, well, to get out of here. So, time for another trip. All right, then. Show me what you got, coffee to know. Uh -oh. <laughs> Think. <laughs> She's either going to end up as an alcoholic after this or as a coffee addict. Or both. Oh, God, spoofing! Uh, um... Hey, Mickinelli. The legend about the treasure of eternal memory starts. Hey, Mickinelli had been on Hambo Island shortly before his death. Set the sails to Hamdu Island. Sentenced to death on this island for a single gold coin. I'm sure I've seen this imprint on a coin somewhere before. Hmm. Where have we seen that before? I don't recognize it. Okay. One left. That's it! The gold coins that Teddy McAnally buried here before he died are from Atlantis. But how is it all connected? Hmm. Also, there probably would be a better name than Atlantis for a place that shows rare things, because with Atlantis you think antiques, not very rare things. Cost 
Don't you let me tell you something. The real treasures are never out of gold coins. You must have been right in front of your nose, dear. You, you just haven't noticed it yet. It's all connected. In the end, the big picture forms a circle. Like sushi! <laughs> ah, you will see. Wait, so the treasure... For all the gold that Macanelli buried here, he sold his Kraken fodder set to Atlantis. The treasure of eternal memory is the set. Or it's in the set. I have to tell Avery that. Okay, I is it going to turn out that the treasure of eternal memory is just to be remembered in history? Uh, let's see, pizza. Oh, God damn it! Like three of my fave streamers are live, including you. I might just have to multitask all three. <laughs> I, I think there... I'm not sure if it's from Twitch itself, but there is a site where you can watch multiple streams at once, even though it likely drive you insane from the <laughs> from the con uh, conflicting voices and sounds. The Kraken fodder set. Hmm? The treasure of eternal memory must have something to do with Teddy McAnally, right? Mm-hmm. The gold coins that were buried here are not the treasure. But have you ever wondered where the gold came from? McAnally was filthy rich. He invented Kraken fodder. This is nothing new, Cleo. The coins have an imprint of Atlantis, Avery. What? McAnally sold his Kraken fodder set to Atlantis shortly before his death. And the gold he got for it, he buried here. You mean... I am almost sure that the treasure of eternal memory is in that Kraken fodder set. Or it just is the set. Or it's just a hint hidden in the set. But it must have something to do with it. The treasure of eternal memory was within our grasp? And we sailed to this island to die here. Oh, now shut your pessimistic peak. It's unbearable. I can think of something. If you want me to remind you of our hopeless situation, you know where to find me. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's a wisp. Oh, wait it could a minute. Around. Uh, it could be, yeah, but uh, we might have a replacement or a substitute. Um. <clears throat> What? It is glowy. It is <laughs> wispy. Hey. Hmm. Oh. Maybe we just need to get it in a bottle or something. You can't see. I can't. Hmm. And the torch is burnt out. Wait, wait, there's fish there. Hey, there's a shoal of fish gathering. Looks like the fish are about to leave at any moment. A huge shoal of fish swims directly to Animal Bay every night. I don't know where they all come from. Hmm. Oh. That could be useful. I think I see where this is going. We feed them the glowy Heck worm. Yeah. But a single earthworm will probably uh. not be enough. And then we <clears> follow <throat> the fish out. Yeah. Oh, I should probably say this. You know when you're read out the recipe for that uh, coffee cocktail yeah i was chewing my food and uh, due to the chewing i misheard you oh i thought you said brain water <laughs> well then let's go <laughs> and now it's a hunt for glowing earthworms <laughs> At least they're easy to spot. Uh oh. Glowing earthworms, a whole extended family of glowing, good humored earthworms. But I don't think they're going to find this funny. Hey, fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I, I don't know why I just said that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Avery, I have the solution to escape from here. What? How? That glowing shoal of fish over there will take us right out of here. There we go. They don't get fooled by the Leo's fog. Plan worked. 
the glowing fish started moving and led the Attempt 38 out of the nautical fog towards Panamu Bay on Macanelli Palms. A little later, Cleo entered the sunken gallery of Atalantis again. Uh, there's the symbol, yeah. Don, yeah. Where is this guy? I have to get the Kraken fodder set somehow. I thought I recognized it. And also, they never said it was an antique shop. They always said it was a gal a sunken gallery yeah. named Antilantis. Mm. Hmm. Okay, I, I have the I have the site with hints ready still, but I'm glad that I didn't have to use it there. Uh, okay, it doesn't have an, an enter button, so it should automatically go when we find the correct code uh, there for, <clears throat> for the correct uh, codes. It'll, 1652 let's try that 1652 that's like okay that <laughs> i've seen worse passcodes cleo opened macanelli's kraken fodder set and found something strange in it it looked like a luminous index card but before Cleo could take a closer look at it. Uh, what are you doing here? Yep. And she sunk the freaking boat. You? Have you been after the treasure yourself the whole time? But how could you know so quickly where- My bowl full of glass eyes. My eyes are everywhere. There was even one in the monkey named Eponzo. And one is in a talking parrot. <laughs> now I've forgotten his name again. Avery! A flapping, gabbling spyglass. That's all this bird is to me. Okay, that is clever. And cruel. You were watching me through Avery the whole time? Through my mirrors, to be precise. Yes, I saw everything. And most of it was pretty pathetic, to be honest. But somehow you actually managed to find the treasure. I've got to give you that one. Avery. What did you do to Avery? Who? Oh, the ugly bird, right. When he saw me, he fluttered away heroically. If I were you, I would have another serious word with him. If you still get the chance, that is. <laughs> the treasure of eternal memory? You wanted it for yourself all along? But why? To become famous yourself? To become famous? Famous? Huh. You understand nothing at all, you simple-minded, silly thing. All of you are all about getting famous. As many people as possible should know your names, right? Your great heroic deeds should be remembered for generations. But what deeds, Cleo? What kind of heroic adventure have you already experienced? You scared off a stupid beaver with a jawbreaker. You dug up a handful of earthworms. And in your tall tales, they turn into terrifying monsters and enormous treasures. But I survived the Kraken. And you said... That would mean that... That you are the chosen one? That only you could find the treasure? Oh dear, I've said that to so many arrogant, self-proclaimed adventurers. And everyone immediately went head over heels in search of the treasure. Your beloved Captain Kabaka was one of them, by the way. The Kraken doesn't bring me chosen ones, don't you get that? He brings me daydreamers who can be easily manipulated. Gullible people who really believe they could be destined for something special. You made me look for the treasure? To then steal it from me and get rid of me? This glowing piece of paper must be worth a lot, huh? Index card, not just a piece of paper. 
And believe me, it is. Not necessarily for you or anyone up here, but to me, it means everything. Up here? And you're wrong about one thing, Cleo. I did not take the treasure away from you. The index card is still in your pocket, and you will deliver it for me in the afterlife. What? Uh, let me put it very clearly. You won't get famous, and neither will I. But I'm not interested in becoming famous anyway. I just want to work in peace again. You're a lich of some sort, My aren't you? My work in the afterlife has always been flawless. Everything was in order. Everything had its place. Managing the death cards was my life. Create, check, archive, shred. Everything on time. I had everything under control. Everything was in order. Until the day. The day Teddy McAnally died for the first time. First? He was there. He was right in front of me when I created his death card. And then, all of a sudden, he was gone. And his death card, too. That lousy anarchist. He somehow managed to steal it from the afterlife and thus turn everything upside down. And me, I was banished from the afterlife's administration because of the missing index card. Even worse. I was banished from the afterlife. I swore I'd find Teddy McAnilly. And a few months later, I found him. Unfortunately, too late. He got away from me again. But I knew he must have hidden the index card up here somewhere. Just where? I came up with the legend of the treasure of eternal memory in order to send naive adventurers on a search for me. Dozens of adventurers over decades. I almost gave up hope. But then suddenly this adventurous, soaked, cynical girl stood in front of me. You're not a, she's she's a faith. I, uh, many mythologies have them, I believe. But ba ba the, the Greek have them with the uh, the three crones who share one eye and such. Basically, the managers of the life threads and such. Yeah, and and in Norse we have the gnomes, not to be confused by the ones in Guild Wars. Yep. And but they all they all I know there are more you can reference to, but those from Greek. Before give us, I forgot the names. Uh, beside crones, is we root call them. No, that's just a descriptor, not a name. Yeah, and then we have the gnomes from the Norse mythology. And I think there are more. I just don't remember the other ones' names. Yeah, they, they are a very common concept among different uh, mythologies. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> she she's basically. Uh, a Norn who got kicked out for having been tricked slash robbed. How the hell McAnally managed that? <laughs> I'd like to know. <laughs> yeah, is that a type of Reaper? It's not that she collects the dead, she processes the dead more. So, I guess technically Norn wouldn't be correct either. Oh, the way, it's... <laughs> did not see this one coming. Oh, Norn's uh, let's... see with Destiny. Valkyries uh, and the uh, ravens pick up the dead. Let's see. God of uh, Pizza. I just got all three streamers unmuted. One is playing a pirate game. One is playing Final Fantasy IV. One is playing that Pokemon torture game. You you mean Power World? I actually got that, and it is pretty fun. And, oh and the, the abuse is optional only, so yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I think it's an easy guess who is playing the... <laughs> <laughs> the pirate game. Not us, obviously. Totally. <laughs> Let's see. What happens when McAnally's death card is in the afterlife again? I can finally go back to work again. And I can tell you one thing for sure. I will do my administrative work more efficiently than ever before. <laughs> 
Not much of a threat, especially since people need to die first before they pop up on your <laughs> seat anyways. Let's see. Pizza, this feels like the game I had in time. It has a bit similar <laughs> loose... Uh, silly, but it's also serious to it. I can agree on that. I should double check if I actually own that game or not. I want to go to the afterlife. Oh, you have to, because I can't go back. Not until Teddy's death card is back in the administration. Oh, I miss the afterlife. What is so great about the afterlife? What's so great about being up here? It's so messed up. It's impossible to keep track. In this tangle, it's impossible to tell right from wrong, truth from lie, to distinguish between important and unimportant, isn't it? There is absolute chaos up here, and nobody controls it. I've seen people here eating their pizza with pineapples, darn it. Oh, you. <laughs> what do you want to do, kid? Spit on me with a jawbreaker? Do you want to stun me with your Stearman's alcohol fumes? Throw a glowing earthworm at me? Face it, you are not a threat to me. You are not a chosen adventurer. You're not even worth a side note in a story. So, are you ready for your final adventure? Captain Cleo and a death by drowning. <laughs> So, take another deep breath, because this will be breathtaking. And here we go! <laughs> nope. Uh. Oh. Okay, we need to figure out this stupid knot. Uh, okay, and it is very obviously timed. Yep. I bloody knew it would be him. Well, are you going to, or... <laughs> oh, hello. The true pianist of Macadalee Palms. Huh? I'm guessing this is the afterlife then? And there's life threads. Okay. What are these strange filing cabinets? And there are these bluish lights everywhere. Scary. Okay, why do I get the feeling that each and every one of these hold souls? Uh, let's see, pizza. Uh, ta -da -da. Also, the sisters of faith in Greek are Clotho, the spinner, Lathesis, uh, or Lathesis. The Allotter and Atropos, the inevitable metaphor for death. And respectfully, wi uh, women, you look like you live. <laughs> respectfully, woman, you look like you live in a goddamn trash can, and you look like the first thing you see in the morning is the goddamn leftovers that people throw in the trash after you also eat. <laughs> oh, hello, you must be the intern. They've got. What do you think you're doing? Has anyone called you? Um, no. Then why are you bursting in here? It's not your turn yet. Wait a moment. I still need to get this done. Ah, <sighs> so where was I? Oh, it looks like the, <laughs> the guy they got to replace her is um, none too fast. Hello. Hello? My halo has been activated. I think this must be a mistake. I, uh... The time has come, Frederick. 
You know the rules. But my great-grandchildren, have they? Forgotten you? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm really busy, so... But... but... So, now it's your turn. Please? Um... Hey! Do you think I have all day? It's your turn. I'm pretty sure time doesn't have a meaning in here. Um, hi. Welcome to the afterlife. You are now in the afterlife's administration. Before I can allow you to indulge in the joys of your dead as a doornail existence, a few formalities have to be made clear. My name is Archibald, and I am responsible for managing your death card. What happened to that poor man? Oh, he was archived. His time here was up. The afterlife also has its capacity limits, you see. Okay. Oh... So basically, like in a, <clears throat> oh, I'm I'm blanking, I'm blanking on the name at the moment. That, that Pixar movie with uh, Spanish afterlife. What was the name of it again? Um, you mean the movie you wanted me to watch with you? Yes. Do I actually still have it lying here? Yeah, Coco. <laughs> I still have it on the freaking <laughs> over here. Uh, yeah, please still need to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, be, uh, hmm. it'd be similar to one thing that happens in there, and I'll leave it at that to avoid possible spoilers. M managing my death card? This holy mandate gives me the right to dispose of your death card, and if necessary, to destroy it using a shredder. Please, read the holy mandate carefully but quickly. And please do not damage it in any way. Let me know when you are ready. This we need to put the thing through the shredder. Grants authority to create death cards. And should one of the following two cases occur, to irrevocably destroy it. Case one. There are no more positive memories of the deceased among the living. Case two. The deceased attracts negative attention in one way or another. <laughs> that sounds pretty arbitrary. It is. And as long as I have this holy mandate, it is subject to my arbitrariness. So please, behave. Okay, next point. Take that. You are obliged to always carry this halo with you in order to be available. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Using halos as like one of those uh, <laughs> mail, uh, meal uh, beepers or something. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to destroy that mandate somehow, but probably by just running it through the shredder itself. The fact that he's holding it even anywhere near it is a bad sign. Though, now that, now that I think about it, uh, having... Uh, what was her name again? G. Komelele or something? Have, having the witch uh, back in place here would probably result in... Well, the entire afterlife getting cleaned out. So, getting her oh. back would be a bad idea, probably. Am I really dead? Oh, yes, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't be responsible for you at all. So, no heaven and hell, huh? Oh, nonsense. There's nothing like that here. And no eternal torment and purgatory and stuff? Oh, yes, that does exist. But only self-proclaimed cyclists who believe they don't have to use the bike path end up there. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. So. <laughs> what do you mean by available? That thing will blink and beep and vibrate when you are being contacted. You know, like in those pseudo-Italian fast food restaurants. <laughs> Called it. Then you have to report to the afterlife's administration immediately. 
like that poor guy from before. Aha! You are slowly starting to think for yourself. That's good, because I don't have a lot of time. Can I go now? You can leave immediately. I, um, I just have to ask you to empty your pockets completely. No safety precaution. There were some incidents in the... Uh, what the... Is that what I think it is? You... You've had near-death Teddy's death card in your pocket the whole time, and you didn't say a word? Good gracious. What, uh, what do I do now? Wait a moment. I have to read the protocol. Exception protocol. Exception protocol. Exception protocol. Exception protocol. Exception protocol! The death card is back in the administration! I repeat, Teddy McInerney's death card is back in the administration! You can go now. Now! Okay, I, I think I see... We'll, we'll probably learn from Teddy just how he did it, but by... By basically stealing his own death card from the afterlife and stashing it somewhere in the in the living world, he basically ensured himself well an eternal afterlife. That <laughs> that way, even if his game Krakenfather would eventually be forgotten somehow, he would still he would still remain. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Poor old man. Oh. Get out of here! This does remind me of something. I, this is actually related to One Piece. Something I still remember to this day. Uh, true death is when no one, when you are completely forgotten. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Teddy's set up straight outside here. Hey, hey, slow down! You can't just walk in here like that. What is this place? Oh, you just got here, right? This is Teddy's, the hippest bar in the afterlife. W well, the uh, only bar in the afterlife. The only? How come? It's uh, actually strictly forbidden to open a bar like that. Usually punished by immediate archiving. But the uh, founder of this bar, near death Teddy, eh, tricked the system. Yeah, Teddy McAnally, right? made his death card disappear. I heard about that. Correct. Well, fortunately for uh, all of us, near-death Teddy can do whatever he wants down here. So he opened this bar. Why a bar of all places? Uh, Teddy said he wanted to create a place of uh, exchange here. Uh, a place for everyone. No distinctions made here. No judgments made here. Nothing is uh, well, expected of you here. It's a peaceful place, where everyone can just chat, and drink, and listen to each other. So, can I go in? No. Why not? Well, it's the Teddies, after all. And that means what? Well, you have to beat me at Kraken Fodder. Then you can go in. I thought nothing was expected of me here. Well, it's not entirely consistent, I admit. But that's the way the rules are. Okay. Really? If there's nothing else, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Oop. Well, that's the that's an immediate loss for us. Our most powerful card gone. Okay, draw. Draw. Hmm. Okay. Roll again. Is the computer going to play? F <laughs> is, the, uh, is the game going to cheat us on this? Or do we actually have a good chance of beating this? Okay, that's both of those gone. Okay. Another draw. Another win. Okay, maybe the game is going easy on us. Or it's a lie. It's okay, what is it? What is with these constant draws? This is this is being very coincidental with how many draws that was. Okay. 
Are you going to try and counter? No. Okay. And... Well, <laughs> okay, that's useless for us, but it is a win for him. But I'm pretty sure we are going to win this all the same at the rate this is going. Okay. Uh, he has only... He uh, had only one of those left. Okay, that's <laughs> a solid win for us. Yeah, hold okay. Uh, let's match two for two. Yep. No, he had three. Okay. Okay. I can set only one. Still winded. <laughs> we are being very lucky with this. And he should have only one card left. Yep. But we don't have any cannonballs. Okay, but he's going to be constantly drawing that one. But it, uh, yeah, it means that he can get a cannon back. But we have all of our shots back as well, and we have far more opportunities to take him out. He's going with two. Okay, we lose one, but we still have plenty spare. So we can try. We can play it safe. Okay, now we're both back to this. Okay. Yeah, he's working. He's working to get his cannons back. Just be a bit more. Oh, damn it! A bit more aggressive. Okay. Yeah. He decides. He had a bit of a rough first start, but otherwise it's been going damn smooth. Surprisingly smooth. Okay. Now we need to get. We need. We need. We need cannonballs back. Okay, until then he can just keep yeah, sniping away at ours. Okay. Okay, two. As long as we have the captain still, that that's a bit of a close win. As long as we have the captain, we can keep regaining our cannonballs. We're going to lose him, so that is one way that we lo lost the ability to gain cannonballs. Okay, if we can destroy him there... Actually, no, he can't fire back. Okay, now now he's completely vulnerable. Okay, full-on assault. And that's that. Well played, young lady. Have fun at the teddies. <laughs> oh, Krakenfather veteran defeat Eric, Fleur, and Schmoder in Krakenfather. Win all Krakenfather games on the first try. Okay. <laughs> what? That's kind of true. Yeah, we haven't had to do a retry at any point. Uh, wait, is that who I think it is? Yep. <laughs> this is Butthair Pete. Pete. Hey, Pete. Hmm. The two are totally engrossed in conversation. <laughs> and then we have these two. Hey, guys. Ugh, you again. I knew you would bring bad luck to us. Yeah, exactly. Away with you, you plague bird. <laughs> uh, Avery is the plague bird, and hello there. Wait. Hello? That's the pianist that they were all so obsessed with. Oh, the original one. Yep. Frank? Oh, I guess that explains why he didn't finish his drink. Welp. Yep. Frank, from the very start of the game at the bar, <laughs> he died drinking. Oh. Looks familiar to me for some reason. And hello there at the end. <gasps> I can't breathe. Oh, doesn't matter. You're already dead. Don't worry. It's you, right? Captain Quebecca, I've read all the books about you. I am really your big 
biggest fan. Psst, not so loud. What are you doing here? I guess the same thing everyone else is doing down here. You, me, good Antonio over there. We enjoy the rest of the time we have in the afterlife, right? Until we are forgotten. You will never be forgotten! You're a legend! Psst, okay, okay. How did you die? My writer at the time would have probably made an exciting story out of it. But in the end, I was just ingloriously killed by a snake. A snake bite? Oh, no, no. The snake was not venomous at all. I tripped over it and fell inconveniently onto a coconut. Yeah, that story could be improved. <sighs> you know, I don't care anymore. I'll tell you something. As a child, I also read books, you know, about great adventurers, like you do. And I wanted to be such a glamorous character, too. All me life, I have been crazy about making me stories look as glorious as possible. And I was successful. You know the books. Then, when I died a legend, came to the afterlife, and sat down here in Teddy's bar, I had time to think about me life. And do you know what I realized? What? I had stopped listening. What do you mean? You see, I was so caught up in my own story that I... I just didn't hear any other stories, you understand? I haven't really listened to anyone for a really long time. And here... Down here, nobody dares to tell their stories to me anymore. Why not? Why not? You know that pianist over there, right? Antonio Lightorende. Why, oh, he's probably the best and most famous composer and pianist of all time. Do you think anyone dares to make music around him? No one wants to compare themselves to him, whether intentionally or unintentionally. When he is not playing the piano himself, it is always quiet around him. This is the fate of the world's best pianist. Do you understand now why nobody tells me their stories? And that's why you're sitting here? So lonely and in the shade? Oh, I don't feel lonely. I have recently learned to listen and observe very carefully. I can tell you something interesting about everyone in the room. As they say, it is lonely at the top. Yeah. What about the guy on the chandelier? That's easy. This is Alfonso, my best friend. Bruh. He's been by my side for years, every step of the way. Unfortunately, many years of it in a monkey's body, hence the nickname Aponzo. And, unfortunately, he just can't break the habit anymore. If he sees something that he can hang on to, then hang on to it he will. Okay, how the heck did he end up in a... Actually, probably the same... Probably the exact same way as Avery ended up in a bird body. A certain witch ended up <laughs> implanting him into it. Yeah, but if he actually said that monkey had a glass up. Yep. That's why it had a glass eye. What about those two over there playing Kraken fodder? The blonde guy's name is Eric. And he's a pretty bad loser. He claims no one has really defeated him in Kraken fodder. But he loses quite often, and then always claims that he let the other guy win. The other guy is called Not Joe, and he knows all 605 knots of the 55 knot grandmasters. I've also heard that he can untie any knot in seconds. I really hope he'll teach me that someday. Yeah, that would have been really useful uh, a little bit earlier. Yeah. What about the two lovebirds at the bar? Pete came down here at the same time as the other two guys. And he has a lot of interesting fisherman stories to tell. You wouldn't believe what he's already caught. And apparently he already has Booze Britta on the hook too. <laughs> Booze Britta? Boo's Britter is the sunshine in the teddies, I can tell you that. Always in a good mood. And she can drink everybody in here under the table. 
She must have been like this during her lifetime, too. <laughs> because, allegedly, she was buried with a bottle of haunting accident. Her absolute favorite booze. Tell me something about Antonio Leiterendi. Leiterendi has written many songs about famous people, became world famous himself. And so his time here in the afterlife is probably one of the longest of all. He plays his legendary songs here at Teddy's every day. But do you know what he does when the last guest leaves the bar? What? He takes a special sheet of music out of his briefcase of a song he wrote here in the afterlife. And then he plays this song every evening. A song for his wife. Where is his wife? Forgotten. Archived. Her time here was very short, because nobody remembers the great pianist's wife, right? No matter how important she was to him, there is nothing that Leiterendi wishes more than to have written this song during his lifetime. Oh, he wrote songs about me, Teddy McAnelly, and many others. But this, the most important song for him, he wrote too late. How tragic. Wait, what's going on now? Have you screwed up anything since you've been down here? What? We've barely been Your here. Halo. It's activated. Why, oh, you better go to the administration right now, or you'll get into trouble. But I wanted... They can archive you at any time if you don't follow the rules. And me too if I keep chatting with you, even though your halo is activated. So, you better hurry up. Okay, I'd like that it actually <laughs> glows and shows through out of the inventory. There you are, my recently deceased messenger. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, why are you looking so mad? You. Hey, hey, hey! Don't get naughty, young lady. I am now again in possession of the holy mandate of the afterlife. If you don't make a good impression on me, I'll shred your death card and archive you. It's faster than drowning. <laughs> and what more do you want from me? Well, I wanted to say thank you for turning in Teddy's death card and ending my agonizing exile. Everything is going according to plan. And now, I'm putting things back in order here. In order? Order is the most important thing. The best way to make order is to sort out. You mean, you want to archive undead souls at random? Who is talking about doing anything at random here? Ha! Of course I do it using a defined system. Teddy's bar. Everyone who has ever entered this bar, everyone who has ever had a beer there, played cards or sat at the piano, anyone who even looked too long through the window into that cursed bar, every single one of them gets archived! <laughs> yep. Ouch! What? What was that? I don't know, I... Ouch! Stop it! I can't do anything about it! I... Is someone reviving us? We're reviving Cleo. Wait. <laughs> the eels. Wait. Was the delivery to your satisfaction? What? The delivery! Everything fine with it? No damage, delay, or other complaints! Delivery? A stamp of the shrimp pyre was in your pocket, along with this address! Valid for two packages, well tied, immediate delivery guarantee! Tied. Ah, everything's okay here, yeah? We have a lot to do! Uh, yes, everything is alright. Um, thanks. The shrimp pyre is at your service! Shrimp pyre! Move, move, move! I was dead. The electric shocks. Of course. 
Teddy McAnally fell into the electric eel pool. That was the reason for his near-death experience. And they shocked him back to life. And... Ooh. Well, it looks like we owe uh, Matthew a bit more than we, well, know. Malty? Malty. He's breathing. Fortunately, he just seems to be passed out. But where is that parrot? Yeah. Uh, okay, that, that was really swift thinking on his part. Okay, and it looks like it's after hours here. Hmm. Where is everyone? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to need to die again to, well, get the witch out. And, oh, right, yeah. His gravestone and his wife's. At least they could have done is buried him in the same bit and put her name on the plaque as well. Yeah, that, that was very really disrespectful. Actually, it is disrespectful, I feel like. All I said to her own request and had Avery a cocktail. Cleo? You're alive? Were you able to save my books? Your books? No, Avery. He called me lately, let me drown on the spot. I'm very, very lucky to be alive at all. Thanks for the help, by the way. That old woman came out of nowhere. What was I supposed to do? You could have tried to warn me. You just left us behind. Left us for dead. Doesn't that sound familiar to you? And all you can think about is your stupid books. Nobody cares about your made up stories. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I was dead, Avery. For a moment, I was really dead and saw it all. The afterlife, the administration, the archive. I was in that archive, Cleo. I was already completely forgotten until you found this book. And it looks like I'll end up there again very soon. Ikomi Lele worked in this administration and... We helped her to return. So? She said she wants to put things back in order. She wants to sort out, shred countless death cards. Anyone who's been in Teddy's bar. We're alive, Cleo. As long as you live, she cannot harm you. No, but... And even if she could, what are you going to do about it? I think I have an idea on how to get back one more time. Back to the afterlife? Yes, but... Just for a moment. That's crazy! I have no choice! Of course you have one. You had your great adventure, and you survived it. Take away, get away. Now is your chance to get away, Cleo. I'm taking it. You should take it too. Get away? You mean, just don't do anything about all of this? I didn't have this opportunity to get away back then, and I won't let it slip away again. I just can't do that. It really was an adventure, Cleo. It was fun. And that's no lie. Get back here. I was planning to dunk him in the ink. Hmm. But yeah, we need to unseat her. And, oh, hello. For that, we're going to need to steal another death card. Cocktail? Uh. He must have washed up here. What about one last drink? Now, his eye is hanging open to all the pressed. Well, I think we can guess what the last drink is that we need to make. Yeah, uh, also if you want to read the chat. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> the stream just sounds like a damn minion if the minion could speak, is, could speak just proper English. Old woman can be scary, okay? One to try to kill was Snow White. So she experienced Snow White, but instead of a kiss, it was an old time defibrillator that woke her up, aka eels, basically, yeah? Hmm. That gives okay. me ideas. No? Yeah, it's... 
This prepared a bucket of electric eels near your feet uh, every morning. <laughs> Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Quite a bit here. Back to Antilatinus. We did it. The Sholot Peach indeed led us straight out of the fog to Penangmu Bay. Who would have thought that butt hair peach fish stories were good for something after all? We're back in Atlantis, but Attila doesn't seem to be here. Bummer. How do we get the Kraken for the set now? It was all just a lie. That darn ma uh, Madame Jikamelele was just using me from the very beginning. There's no treasure at all. There's just an excuse to find the strange index card that was supposedly stolen from the afterlife. His monster tied me up and drowned me. Where am I? Am I really dead? I can't believe it. I'm really dead in the afterlife. I was in the strange administration building, and they, you know, there they took the index card from Teddy McAdley and sent me out. It was so strange down here. The first thing that catches my ear here is the aft in the afterlife is a huge bar, the Teddy's. I met Captain Kavaka in person at Teddy's. The encounter was very different from what I would have expected. A humble man in the shadows had started to soak up the stories around him instead of telling his, <clears throat> instead of telling his own. It was particularly taken by the story of the pianist. We are still alive. Malthy and I were mistaken for a delivery by the Shrimp Pyre, and we were delivered to the McKinley Hotel. We were extremely lucky because the electric eels acted like, uh, like, like living defibrillators on our deceased bodies. That must have been exactly what happened to Tagney McKinley when he had his near-death experience. That was really close. But I can't ignore what I had to experience in the afterlife. Jiko and Lele will archive anyone who was in Teddy's bar, and it's, that's all my fault. Maybe there's still a way to stop Chikina Komilele? What was that Malte said to me? There's no problem a cocktail can't solve. Uh -oh. I'm afraid it was my last meeting with Avery Alwick. He survived, too, but he decided to take the opportunity to get away, just as described in his books. And somehow I can't blame him. But I can't just look away. I have to do something about Chikomelele, and I have to do it right away. The cocktail A Thousand watched up in Panamu Bay. It has been quite damaged, but it still has power for one last cocktail. And I already have a very specific recipe in mind. Yeah, that's going to be... Near yeah. death on the beach. Oh, come on. That's quite on the nose, ain't it? Yeah. Okay, herbal liquor, cold ashes, and a personal sacrifice. Hmm. Oh... Where oh. can we find ashes, then? Hmm. Personal sacrifice. Let's see. Anything anywhere here? Oh, there's... There's the fire. Cold ashes. Okay, so, yeah, it, w it was by complete accident that we got uh, revived. Hmm. Wait. Was there, was there an address on the, on the stamp already? If not, someone must have added it to it. Yeah. About one last drink. Okay, we need to find the rest Hmm. Yeah. Oh, and fit this whole thing again. Again, there is something that needs to be done with all of that ink. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. From God of Pizza. You have got me curious again, Drakir. Huh? Okay, so from my research, it's rare to die from the electric shocks from eels rare but not impossible so it could technically work but it but it would be suggested that it's just one eel rather than being like free or something in their bucket and not not be used daily all right uh Okay, it seems Cleo's lines have gone. It seems uh, Cleo's lines have uh, gone kapoof. And I guess that's why 
I guess that's why these have a list, uh, have a warning with risk of drowning. Because, well, Teddy almost drowned in them. Let's see, Drakir's mic seems to be cutting out sometimes. Not so much on my end. It's <laughs> very small cuts, but very noticeable. Okay. Is, is it uh, happening again? Uh, sometimes it might be just be me stopping myself. Like when I feel like I'm about to misread or something. Hmm. Sorry, Britta, but... Oh, Britta's... I yep. have to borrow this for a moment. Herbal liquor. Okay. Uh, but what's for the personal sacrifice, then? He'll hmm. take a guess. That might be mean literal with a term. What about one last drink? Unfortunately, I have never heard of this cocktail. Okay, so it won't do anything. I'm sorry. I don't know any recipes with these ingredients. Hmm. I think you may need some uh, of your blood. What about one last drink? Hmm. I have a bit of an I, I think we might find Avery's books after all and put them here to, well, prove that he was the one who wrote all of those stories. Maybe he won't be remembered as a great adventurer, but as a half decent writer at least. Okay, but where do we get the personal sacrifice then? Hmm. I'll have to look this one up, I think, before we take too long with this. Yeah, let's see here. I'm going to read the chat. Such a perfect moon to just sit on while a fishing stick or pole or whatever it's called. When they are, when they say personal sacrifice, what do they mean? Yeah, that's the question, yeah. Mean. And also, fishing for the, the moon. Are you thinking about DreamWorks logo? Uh, oh, gods. Make me remember Rusty Park Warpath, where DreamWorks actually had made that game. And a boy fishing for the moon got dragged from the moon by a raptor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that I. It's either the first, but I fear it might be the latter. Uh, I got a pizza. Oh, you should put it out what they, they are saying. Uh, from Coda Pizza, like personal in as in something that's close to you emotionally, or personal like as in yourself, like your blood? It's one of those two. Okay, it's... The hints are saying that it ha it's something to do with uh, the diary. These beasts saved my life. Wait, are you to sacrifice your own li uh, library? Diary, not library. Hmm. Actually, can you drag your own library? Can you drag your own we diary? Can't use, we can't use it as an ingredient because it does doesn't show up. Uh. Personal sacrifice. <sighs> All right, then. What a day. You were saying? I guess that might have been a bit of a hint as well to it. And with that, she has erased, well, her own story of all of this. What about one last drink? A near death on the page coming right over 
It's been an honor, Cocktail. All right, then. Down with it. Let's be honest, with, <laughs> with Cleo's drinking, she probably would have ended back here anyways. The cocktail's effective. It worked. Only temporarily, I hope. Hopefully. And is it just me or does this look like it's been expanded? I think you might be right. Oh no! She's already started! I have to stop her somehow! A pretty badly insulated junction box. The cable leads to the shredder on the table. It's... I better not go any further. That old woman shouldn't see me. Uh, red light? I guess we missed that part. Red light. Red light is pretty... Hello. Alfonso Zachary, nicknamed Aponso. 1365. Hmm. There is a paperclip on that note. Hmm. Is she just... If we Did break the shredder, we can't... Smack it? Oop, oop. I better not go any further. And yes, she granny sm uh, smacked it. Oop. Okay, we have to... I yeah. Let's see, activate Halo. Uh... Okay, oop. Hmm. We need to get a Ponzo over somehow or Alfonso. I better not go in that old one. We're going to shock ourselves back to life at this rate with this. So that she just has a crappy light bulb for <laughs> for light here. Uh, okay, we need to we need to note down the symbols. Okay, uh, need a bit of paper. At least we've screwed with things enough that she can't do anything at the moment. Then this one. Uh, let's see. Sort of hanged Magnus. Two half circles. Yep. And I didn't get to see this last one. Does it kind of look like a beetle or a turtle? I got to see it. Okay, like that. Okay. Yeah, 1365. She must be getting really annoyed with all these malfunctions. Okay. Um, there. There, there. 1365. Yep, nope. Screw that up. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button there. I better not go that old. Okay, here we go again. 
Okay, do you seriously need to look this up every single time? Okay, uh, that, that, that. One, three, six, five, go. Then Alfonso can be a distraction for us. Oop, uh. What? Hey! Close the window immediately! Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Hey, Ponzo. He just can't break the habit anymore. <laughs> what a mess. Yiko Malayli desperately tried to catch the documents flowing around and somehow keep the overview that was so important to her. But there was something she lost sight of. The Holy Mandate. Cleo <laughs> didn't hesitate and let the powerful document glide through the shredder. And now you can be ordered yourself. But that face you made. <laughs> Before the cocktail lost its effect, Cleo, just like Teddy Macinelli back then, took a document from the afterlife with her. But she didn't hide it. She left it for someone to see before leaving Macinelli Parms. Cleo came back home. But she never told her incredible story to anyone. She talked about Multitheus, the sailing cocktail mixer with breathtaking recipes from all over the world. She talked about Not Joe, the seaman who knows all 605 knots of the 55 knot grandmasters. She spoke of Eric, the gifted Kraken fodder player who taught her all the rules and tricks and was never defeated by her. She talked about Pete, the most talented fisherman at sea, who could predict exactly when and where a shoal of fish would appear. And of course, she talked about Avery Alwick, the greatest adventurer of all time and about how he survived a dozen Cyclops crabs and a giant black iguana. Well, back to my initial question then. What is the most important thing about a story? I think the most important thing about a story is the listener. Without someone to hear the tale, and of there wouldn't be a story to tell. The writer's voice. Let's um, shut up, you. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you the <were> polyized. <laughs> okay. In part, I was uh, the listener. Thank you for playing Cleo, a pirate's tale. <laughs> okay. I that was a good story. It it definitely twisted around. Special thanks to Nikki. Without you, this uh, would have not been possible. You supported the company that motivated me, motivated me every single day. You never questioned this project for a second. You are incredible, and I love you more than anything. Can't you see? Nope. Is there anyone listening to me? I lost track in the tide and the sense of how loud I should be. I can't hear what I say Were the words even though said I meant them to be When the water got me And the wave pushed me into the corner Now I can't speak I'm underwater Say goodbye, say farewell To all the stories I'm not granted to tell 
You won't hear through the noise and the fuss and the rumble and thunder. Not further. <laughs> but I hope that you stay float in the wave that uh. had sweat up my breath and you won't be <laughs> Scream pyre. Okay, I want to count if those were 55. I don't <laughs> couldn't tell if it was. I can even hear <laughs> from underwater. I can even hear from underwater. Okay, this this was a beautiful little game, and yeah, yeah they they are correct. So without someone to listen to a story and to retell it so, to someone else, there there wouldn't be a story to begin with. Like every Indeed. stories well were written, but nobody knew them, and I'm honestly a bit surprised that we didn't get to post them in the uh, <laughs> in the publisher mail slots. But yeah, now yeah. He and the others, they will be remembered for a good long while. And I think Cleo, when her time comes, will also be remembered for the stories she told. Yeah. I really like this. I hope you find more point and click games for... Many of them can be rather heartwarming or just they're all right damn hilarious. Yeah. This uh, was yeah, <laughs> this was a game short as it was, like only three streams and only still half an hour early. Yeah, I, I this this is a little gem. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, uh, the thing is, I say over the years now, the stream Italian, it was more and more that I kind of like it when we stream point and clicks for again, it's. It's not just Helium playing. This is one of the moments where we both are in a way of playing. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, point and click, point and click games—they live and die on their stories and characters. Like, oh, if yeah. Guybrush wasn't half as incompetent or half as funny, then the Monkey Island series would have died in the very first game. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, God. Yeah. I. I I, I am going to keep an eye out on more games like this, yeah. Uh, this one, short, but it, I will certainly remember this game, and I well, I will highly recommend this game to anyone who will ask for suggestions. There are, there are actually more pirate pony clicks, dude. I think people had a bit more neutral feel towards them. Do I only heard it from one reviewer, and I forgot the names already for was a bloody while ago. <laughs> but there are definitely more about. Yeah, and I definitely look forward to any more games that uh, Christopher will make. If I got their name correct, let me yeah, Chris, no, Christoph, Christoph. Yeah, I will definitely keep an eye out for any more games that he may make in the future. But for now, it is time for us to go look for someone to raid. Pizza suggests lading, ra not lading, raiding Lasher. Seriously, why the, f why the heck do I sometimes speak like speak like a stereotypical Chinese uh, immigrant or something? But I just swap around R's for L's, like seriously. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, it, over here in the Netherlands, it's a joke that uh, it's a stereotypical joke that whenever a Chinese person would try to speak uh, Dutch or not or English, that they end up swapping R's for L's. So raid becomes laid and such. <laughs> I had never heard of this. And uh, yeah, it is a bit racist, Pizza. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, let's see. Uh, when they say pers uh, like personal as in something that's close to you emotionally, or personal like something in your blood, yeah, it, w it was her own story that she sacrificed. It's a fish, not a beast. Show some respect to the animal that got you back to life. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel expanded, but the red light is pretty new. 
moral an ending oh how so uh, uh, such a nice game even if i joined in another third part yeah I, I definitely look forward to any further games they may make in the future well yeah let's uh change over the screen share so drakir can take a look as well there and there now let's see we have dr misunderstood who is still streaming like a dragon infinite wealth theory pop is now online with the legend of zelda ocarina of time Kiri Natsuyoko with Dark Souls 2. Okay. Uh, Lashris is playing Final Fantasy 4. Torpid Typist is playing Persona 5 Royal. Brain is playing Rogue Trader. Halloween is playing Enshrouded. That's a new release, I believe. Yeah, I that one. With sea of Stars. WBPL with the Universe Sim. And last but not least, not last but not least, we have Sek we have Horatius the Dwarf playing Sekiro Shadows Die twice. I should continue with that game at some point. Definitely should, but it keeps kicking my fucking ass in. <laughs> and let's uh, see, Pizza. Uh, by the way, could you tell me one thing, Hillian? Uh, what are the devices you got you can play games on, like PC? I've got yeah, PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. PC, obviously. I've also got a PlayStation 4. Um, I do also have a Switch. And I do own, like, a few older consoles. I don't have an Xbox One or anything of the like. But the older ones, I don't think I could make work. But there's always... I could always try to... There's always emulation and such. Like with how I'm playing Sonic Heroes through that. So, yeah. Uh, for... <clears throat> for most uh, for most consoles if it is if emulation is available i would be able to stream through those as well i do remember that someone suggested a game called concrete jungle or something that was a while back and i've forgotten the exact name i did say that it looked very interesting but it yep, is I a console that... exclusive i believe i forgot yeah, that, that, that was pizza was... It was pizza. I would say I forgot it was pizza or Marco. A concrete genie. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely look at. Uh, I'll I'll definitely take a, 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 another look at concrete uh, genie, if I can get that on the PlayStation. If not, I'll have to run it through uh, emulation. Though since I don't own the game and it is still actively being sold, that uh, yeah, definitely looking at. I'm definitely going to look at buying it and if i can't if i can't properly record from the uh, playstation somehow i should be able to with my capture cards and such uh, but if i can't then i'll try to run it through emulation after buying the game since it's still commercially available easily available and not overpriced i hope but yeah we'll we'll see about that at some point pizza uh, for now, we already have a decent list of games to put on, well, to put in this game's place. But for now, uh, yeah. Any of these raiders that you uh, have, uh, you think would be uh, good to raid, Rakir, or shall we go raid Lazarus like Pizza suggested? Yeah, yeah let's go with Lazarus. Okay. Uh, Pizza, wait, so can you play that game or not? As uh, at the time you told me that you didn't have the console. Uh, if it is on PlayStation, it, I should be able to get it. But I forgot. If it's an Xbox game, then I can't. Uh, let's see. To the third pizza on levels of story. Concrete Genie is tied with Mad Dead Redemption 2 for my top favorite game number two. Uh, number one, I mean. Okay. okay. I'll look into Concrete Genie some more. And I think I said Concrete Jungle again just earlier. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at it again. I can't promise we'd stream it anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely look more at it. Uh, yeah, uh, who to raid? Uh, Lamish. Okay, let me make sure that everything is muted so we don't actually steal his audio. And yes, I forgot to keep this thing open and now it is definitely muted, yes? Zip. Okay, Lash. Copy the name over. I probably could just type it in manually, but I, I'm still going to prefer to just pay, copy paste instead of trying to, well, risk <laughs> misspells and such. So yeah, slash raid, Lazarus, 
and yeah to the to pizza and i can wait a year if, uh, if i have to for that game okay <laughs> And yeah, for what game we'll put in place of Clio here, we have a good selection. I, if, I forget. I think I put up a poll on that, what to do next with it, but I think I already forgot. I think it was a 50-50, but I'll look, I'll look into that. For now, uh, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, any lurkers. Uh, none at the moment, so well. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah, with this lovely, lovely little game. Yeah. But for now, yep, thank you all again. Yep, first off, let's start at raids before I forget. There we go. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch out for undead seagulls. And do tell people stories, and your own will yeah. be told in turn. Share the stories. <laughs>